Welcome, I'm Daniel Malone. Today we're going to get started building an Android app with Android Studio. This is part one of 100 where I'm going to go over a complete series. We're going to create multiple apps. I'm just getting started. My goal is to create 100 videos, so we'll see how that goes. The first thing we need to do is download and install Android Studio. Now, if you were programming in the past, you might have used Eclipse. Don't use that anymore. Android Studio is the official way to go, so download Android Studio. Here's the URL it's for, and if you scroll down, we have, I'm on Mac right here, and so you can just download it, like it says, for about 400 megabytes, not that big. So I'm not going to go over installing it because it's fairly straightforward, but what I am going to do is going to, in this first video, just launch a new project. So this is the screen, and you can see I have some, I just, I just opened up Android Studio here, and today... Um, these, are, these are some past projects I can click on to go to, but I'm going to click on this button, start a new Android project. I'm going to call it YouTube Zero, YouTube, let's see, and you, you type it your domain name there. Um, the package name is backwards, so it's com.finepointmobile. So just type in your domain, like googleexample.com or whatever, um, and this is where it'll save it to by default. I think the default is it'll put it in a user and then Android Studio Projects. Um, you can change that over here. I'm just going to leave it as is. Go to Next. And um, this screen, you can select your minimum SDK level. So basically, how far back do you want to go? There's Android. You want to go back to KitKat, to Lollipop, to Marshmallow, to whatever. I'm just going to leave it at the defaults and click Next. But if you do want to, like if there's if you're if you're using certain libraries and they say there is a minimum, you might have to change this to something else. But we're just gonna leave it as is. The default is fine. Next, and we're gonna go ahead and create an empty activity. These are just basic layouts that'll help you get started. So like if you want to use a floating action button there, or if you want no activity or whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and create uh, empty activity next, and this should be it. And it's going to create a new activity for us. We'll go over what an activity is, but basically, an activity is a screen. So instead of going from, you know, instead of saying going from screen to screen, you say go from activity to activity. It's basically the same thing, and that it can be a little bit complicated. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and finish, and it'll take a couple of seconds here. I'm on a fairly fast machine, so it won't take too long. But I'm, when it once it loads, I'm going to quickly go over some stuff. Um, so it'll take a couple of seconds here to load. They're giving me some errors with some red text. That means something's going wrong, but it's there's it's still doing something. You can tell at the bottom here. So just give it a couple of seconds, and it should, depending upon how fast your machine is. So over to the left, we have projects, and I think it might actually be closed when you first open it up. But you can open up projects that way, and there are a number of screens that you can set up. Or not, so basically, this is like your file system. You can open up res layouts it's kind of like Mac Finder or you know, on the Windows the alternative there um, there are a number of views for this so say you want to view project view this is like exactly what the file system is like um, so you can open up app open up source we'll get into the, what all this means later so don't worry about it um, the one that's probably going to be most helpful is probably Android and these are the files um, so I'm going to quickly go over them and then we'll go into more detail later in this series. But manifest, if we open up the manifest, it's called Man Android Manifest.xml. This is like the, you know, the guidebook for your entire app. This is where you put all of your screens and all of your um, it just kind of lets it's like basic information about your Android app and it tells Android phones kind of what your app is about. Um, you have launcher icon, you have the name of it. Um, you set up some activities, which is basically a screen. Every screen you have has to be registered in this Android manifest style, or this uh, Android manifest.xml file. So any any new screen has to be put in here, and we'll go into get into that later on. We also have Java. The next folder here is Java, and if you first open it up, you'll notice there are three folders that are all named. Um, you know, they're all they all look the same, but if you look at it closely, the bottom two are for testing. And we'll get into test-driven development, probably not in this series, but in another series. But the one you want is the first one. And this, and if, you're, if you've ever done any Java, this might look familiar to you a little bit. But if you look inside of here, there's a main activity. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And this is main activity. This is Java code. So we're not doing hybrid app stuff here. This is native Java. 
And this is where you're gonna be doing most of your work. You're gonna be doing most of your work inside of this. Whenever you create a new Java file, go to new Java file, you want a new screen, you know, about screen, created a new screen there, or you want a contact screen, new Java class, contact. So you and you can create new classes, and we'll get into all that later, and I'll I'll I promise I'll get into more detail. But main activity, that's that's where you're like when we first created this app, when we were going through the setup wizard, it actually had main activity as part of that. And so that's why um, you see me, it's, that's why it's called main activity. It can, it can be called anything. The important thing to note is if you go back to our Android manifest, you can see that main activity, see there's the main activity and it's, and it's the launcher and it's the main. So that means when your app first launches, this is the class, this is the Java class that's gonna be run. Um, let's next we'll do, go down into res these are your resources drawables is where you put your images layouts layouts there's um, we can open this up activity main um, and if you notice if you open up XML files especially ones that are in your layout folder you have two different views at the bottom you see text view there but there's also a design view I'm gonna click on design view this is where you can drag and drop stuff so say I want to drag and drop a button in there you know, there's a button I just dragged it in, and I could zoom in, and we'll get go into detail all all later in the course. I'm just trying to give you a brief overview of what Android Studio is like. Um, we also have values down here, stuff like colors and dimensions and styles and strings for inter, for international for like translating your app into different languages. But this is just a little introduction. I don't I didn't want to go over like installing Android Studio, but I just wanted to quickly like kind of show you a little bit. Um, of what it's like inside Android Studio. So again, you have different views, like you have your project view or you have your Android view. I think Android's gonna be most useful. Um, I'll, I'll just, ex I'll I'm about to end the video, but I just wanna go ahead and say Gradle scripts. A lot of times when you're pulling in other people's code and libraries in like Firebase or whatever, or Google Analytics, you'll do it and um, you open up at the bottom in Android view, in the bottom Gradle scripts, you have two Gradle scripts. You have one for your project and one for your module. The one you're probably probably gonna be working with the most is the module one. So you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see dependencies and it's pulling in some stuff. If I wanted to if I wanted to add a new library to the project, like I wanted to use Firebase for real-time database or analytics or something, I put it down in here. So hopefully you weren't too confused by this video and we'll go into more detail in other videos. This is part one of a hundred, I hope. So this is just to give you a little overview of kind of what it's like inside Android Studio, um, your version code. Like if you want, this, will, this is what will show up in, uh, in Google Play as your app version. Like when you, if you, when you go to like download Facebook, it'll tell you what version is like 5.5, 5.6, 2.0.1 or whatever, whatever it is. Um, and we'll go into detail later, but this is just a quick brief overview of Android Studio and how to get started. Um, join me in the next video and we'll go into deeper and we'll get into more, I forget what we'll get into, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll continue on in the next video. Thanks.